بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة تم لساني يفقه قولي So let us start and I will say that uh, every lesson will tell you how closer you get to the you know, words of the Quran. So by the end of first lesson we learn 13 words which occur in the Quran 7248 times. So I skip these parts. Well, uh, just one thing perhaps I would like to emphasize that this course is based on modern techniques taken from review of books published in, uh, on Arabic grammar. Uh, books published in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia, UK, and USA, statistics of the words of the Quran, teaching models, and second language learning tools, and brain thinking, effective living, you know, the modern uh, success books and uh, other other things, and NLP, neuro-linguistic programming, and so on. Of course, these, uh, these things will not be directly referred to during the course, but they are integrated into the course. The objectives of the course... Uh, is to convince you that Quran is easy to understand and this part you can see it in the video. And uh, so what we will study in this course is Al-Fatiha, Surah Al-Asr, Al-Nasr and the four quotes, Al-Kafirun, Al-Ikhlas, Al-Falaq, Al-Nas. Seven surahs which almost everyone, every Muslim knows and parts of Salah such as Adhan and Dua after Wudu and Tasbihat in Ruku' and Sujood and at tahiyyatu Lillah and Allahumma Salli Ala Muhammad and Rabbana Atina Fi Dunya and Allahumma Inni Ala Dhikrika Wa Shukrik So six sura, seven surahs and seven adhkar is what we will learn along with simple grammar and this will help us to learn 232 words which occur in the Quran 41,000 times so more than 50% of the words of the Quran and uh, so every second word of the Quran is from Salah. And inshallah, I, I hope you will be good in following the exercises. So we will try to cover as much as possible. In principle, uh, we have 20 hours, sorry, uh, we need at least 19 hours to cover this course. Uh, but we are having 12 hours in this semester. So what we will do, as I told you, I will ask you to watch the videos during the week. Uh, that's very, very important. And uh, in fact, uh, I would say the schedule can be like this. So let me just go to Google. So today is Monday. So Tuesday, I hope you can. And it will be only 10, 10 minutes. Uh, I would say 10 to 15 minutes uh, homework, but done regularly every day will be inshallah very helpful. So Tuesday, you can watch 1A, okay? And Wednesday, you can watch 1B. And uh, Wednesday, Thursday, you can watch, you can do the quizzes of 1A and 1B. Or, you know, this is just a extra time. You can even speed up. Uh, I would say after doing 1A, you can do the quiz. The quiz is uh, very, very simple. And the quiz is right here in this link. So if you click on this test, inshallah, it should take you to Google um, quiz and you can do that quiz. And uh, then we have Thursday, Friday, you can do uh, 2A and Saturday, everything is 20, uh, 15 minutes only, 15 minute video, 2B and Sunday, you can do the quiz of 2A and 2B. And don't be scared at all. I think um, uh, just after this session, you will know how easy each lesson is. Extremely easy, in fact. So let me just go over lesson 1A, which is in fact only, I would say, uh, only one dhikr. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. The words and meanings and little message. That's all. That is 1A. So perhaps you already know that. So let me just go quickly to 1A. I mean, uh, and these all these parts you can watch in the video. So I will just go over to the exercise. I will skip unique features of this course. And uh, so we start with A'udhu Billahi So here is the real course starting. That is all introduction. And you can watch it in the video uh, at your pace. Uh, and don't worry about that. So I want to use this time in exercises and interaction with you. So I will explain like uh, one one verse 
and then you can have question time at the end of 1A and the question time at the end of 1B and so on. So let me start with this. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. We should recite this before reciting Al-Fatiha or the Quran. So let us study that first. Now as you are sitting there, generally you know I conduct this course live and I see the whole uh, audience uh, answering to me. Alhamdulillah I have been conducting this course recently in different uh, states of uh, US. So I was in Florida, in Virginia, in uh, I would say New Jersey and uh, just yesterday I was in uh, Atlanta and Alhamdulillah we had a very live uh, session. The whole audience uh, was responding. So I would say even though I don't hear you in this, uh, I mean you can make me hear you but uh, it will be too much uh, confusion. So I would say at least to yourself say it loud. As, as loud as you can without disturbing others in the room or place you are sitting. So please translate, A'udhu, I seek refuge. A'udhu, I seek refuge. A'udhu, I seek refuge. Billahi in Allah. See, when I'm repeating, I'm trying to you know, kind of reinforce those meanings. So Billahi in Allah. Min is from. Min is from. Shaitan, Shaitan, Satan, Ar-Rajim, the outcast. Ar-Rajim, the outcast. Now we'll go word for word. A'udhu, I seek refuge. I seek protection. Okay, and the ellipse here shows how many times that word occurs in the Quran. So A'udhu occurs in the Quran seven times. So A'udhu, you know, I seek refuge, I seek protection. So Allah is teaching us safety first. Buckle up, get protection against the deadliest enemy, the most dangerous enemy, Shaitan. So Billahi in Allah. Arabic words are made up of two or three words. For example, Billahi is made up of two words. In Allah. B is in and Allah, Allah. Billahi in Allah. I seek refuge in Allah. Min is from, you see, 2,471 times in the Quran. So min is from. There are other meanings of min, but we will learn them later on. Min is from. A shaitan, the Satan, the shaitan, a raji, uh, oh, by the way, shaitan and shayateen, uh, plural is shayateen, plural is shayateen. When I, whenever I have plus sign there, it means these are plurals. And uh, there is a meaning of these dotted line. These are broken plurals, but uh, you don't have to worry about that now. Shaitan, plural is shayateen, and together they occur 88 times in the Quran. Now, a rajim is the outcast. Actually, rajim means outcast. And how do you remember the meaning of rajim? Here is a clue. Do you think shaitan is close to Allah? Never. He's outcast, rejected, thrown away from Allah's mercy. Therefore, the meaning of rajim is outcast. So you can always try to remember the context. So instead of memorizing a rajim, the outcast, a rajim, the outcast, a rajim, the outcast, say a shaitan is rajim. Satan the outcast. Ash-Shaitan rajim Satan the outcast. So try to remember the phrases. And that you know, reminds me of another excellent Alhamdulillah widget that we have developed. In fact, I will try to um, show you that widget also. Uh, it is, uh, let me just go to the website okay and the widget is called Quranic phrases and I want all of you please to install this Quranic phrases this one Quranic phrases so it's a widget by widget it means you know you have weather widget and so on like on the home screen on the home screen you will have uh, this thing always displayed so install this widget on your uh, phones. We have this one in iOS also, iPhones as well as Android phones. So install this and select course one. So it will always display, I would say, um, the words there. Now let me just see if I can, uh, you see the system is, little new to me so 
even though I have been teaching on, but I'm teaching it through this Ikna Da'wa channel. So some of the links are not direct. So let me just go there and see if I can uh, share my phone screen. Let us see. No, uh, I think I, I will do that later on. But try to install this and it will be always visible on your home screen, inshallah. And that is wonderful. On the home screen, put that widget on the home screen and uh, every time you open the phone, it will remind you that you have to learn the Quran and according to statistics, a person turns on the phone almost 100 times a day. So out of those hundred, even if you look at this widget 10 times, inshallah, you will have no problem learning this course. It will be extremely easy. You will learn within this uh, you know, eight weeks or whatever, inshallah, 50% uh, of the Quranic words, which occur in the Quran 40,000 times. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Ar Rajeem is outcast. Now, this is the formula that is very, very important to bring the Quran into our lives. Whenever you recite, try to study and ponder, visualize and feel. And I've been telling people uh, that in order for us to develop khushu in salah, humility in salah, to stop whispering of the shaitan, we have to visualize and feel, recite, with visualization or imagination and feelings. The more you visualize and the more you feel, inshallah, you will have more khushur, more concentration, less whispering of shaitan in the salah. Otherwise, according to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a person prays salah and he gets only 10% of the reward or ninth or eighth or seventh or sixth or fifth or fourth or third or half. This is reported by Abu Dawud. Okay, the hadith is already there. So majority, it looks like, get the reward between 10 and 20% only. Why? Because according to scholars, they don't have khushu or they lack khushu. So I would say to improve khushu, remember this central formula of visualization and feeling. So after studying and pondering, thinking over, whenever you recite, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, or any dhikr in salah, any ayah in salah, Try to visualize and feel. Imagination. So let us let me give you an example. What I mean by visualization and feeling. So as I say a'udhu, okay, as I say a'udhu, a'udhu billah, I seek refuge in Allah. I can visualize that Allah is there above seven heavens and he is, he is listening to me. Many times, and when it occurs to me also, unfortunately, astaghfirullah, may Allah help me do better. You know, I just say Allahu Akbar, for example. I don't mean anything. I just do it as a ritual. I just go Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I don't focus on the meanings. So we may recite A'udhu Billah without focusing on the meanings. And that, uh, you know, then, then, then this effect will not be there. The khushu will not be there. So I say A'udhu Billah, and as I say it, I should visualize or imagine or feel that Allah is, uh, imagine that Allah is listening to me. You know the hadith uh, which says that you should worship Allah as if you see him or at least with the, you know, with the understanding that Allah sees you. How kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, a'udhu billah with that, you know, visualization or imagination, you can recite. Then, mina shaitan from shaitan. So when you say shaitan, you can visualize or imagine uh, that a jinn is there with you because shaitan is a jinn and every person has a jinn with him according to the Prophet ﷺ. And this, uh, it looks like there are even more than this jinn the, which, who come and do whispering in, uh, in, in, in salah like the one Khinzib uh, who does crazy things when we go to saj in sajda. So Imagine the enemies are there, which are out there to destroy the salah, or outside when you are, you know, walking, talking in the daily routine life, 
Um, of course, the shaitan is there, and anytime you have whispering, you can apply this formula also. So, mina shaitan al rajim. Now, subhanallah, Allah didn't mention his uh, attribute, uh, like he didn't say, a'udhu billahi al-azim, mina shaitan al rajim. There is no attribute of Allah here. And by the way, this is derived from an ayah, فَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ But he mentioned the attribute of shaitan, rajim, outcast, thrown away, rejected. And he wants us to be rejected also. So now with this uh, understanding, and also we should know that we cannot kill shaitan, we cannot hit shaitan, we cannot give da'wah to shaitan to make him Muslim. The only solution and the most powerful solution is, I say, A'udhu Billah, with full conviction and in the, with, the feeling, with the feelings of a beggar asking Allah desperately, at least in the heart I should have this. So with these feelings of helplessness and you know, running towards Allah, if we say, inshallah, then there will be more khushu in our salah. And that's what I mean by this formula. You know, visualize and feel. Okay, visualize and feel. And then let us bring this Quran, I mean, this uh, dhikr or Quran into our life following the formula which shows I'm skipping this because I told you most of the important things. And you can uh, you know, listen to the, uh, I would say, the video or study the worksheet. Uh, which I have sent you. So now we have ask, evaluate, plan, and propagate. How to bring Quran into our life? This is the formula. Ask, evaluate, plan, and propagate. Now ask, every ayah of the Quran is there for action. So when we say ask, that is derive the dua for the action that you want to implement. So a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim is a dua itself. So I am asking, taking refuge in Allah from shaitan. Then I evaluate. Evaluate for what? Like how many times did I slip? Due to satanic whispering. And why? Because of bad friends, bad uh, you know gadgets or whatever. If I slipped, astaghfirullah. If not, alhamdulillah. But if I had slipped, astaghfirullah. Then what is my plan? That is, I should now plan to take out, uh, go away from those bad friends, or cut off from those bad friends, or remove those gadgets from my life. Otherwise, or you know, do something to make the best use of those things. Otherwise, it is only a lip service. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem is a lip service. Like a student who goes to Fajr, Zuhar, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, and uh, doesn't... Uh, I mean, praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for success, but doesn't open a book and does not, uh, I would say, go to school and just cries to Allah, Oh Allah, help me pass the exam, help me pass the exams. So you can say that this dua is not sincere. Similarly, if I say, A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem, but I don't plan to remove the satanic tools and uh, friends or whatever. From my life, that means my a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim is not sincere. And then propagate. Of course, the Prophet ﷺ said, Balligu anni walaw ayah. So remember these two four these four steps: ask, evaluate, plan, propagate. These four are for the for bringing Quran into our life. And the other ones, which is study, ponder, uh, just going back. So study and ponder, visualize and feel. These four: study, ponder, visualize, feel. This is for khushu and for understanding and pondering. Study, ponder, visualize, feel. Study, ponder, visualize, feel. Those four steps and the other four are ask, evaluate, plan, propagate. With that information, let us start interaction now. And I would like to launch some poll. So what is a'udhu? Or uh, just to refresh you, uh, let me just recite it again. And uh, all of you, please repeat the translation wherever you are. A'udhu, I seek refuge. A'udhu, I seek refuge. Billahi, in Allah. Billahi, in Allah. Min, from. Min, from. Ash-Shaytan, Satan. Ash-Shaytan, Satan, Ar-Rajeem, the outcast. So can you answer me? 
in poll, what is the meaning of a'udhu? Read the answers, then I will launch the poll. At that point, you will answer. So I hope you have read the answers, okay? And then now I will launch the poll. Select A, B, C, D, and you just have to type A, B, C, or D, okay? So I have launched the poll. Okay, mashallah, you're all alive and kicking there. I mean, that's great. So, alhamdulillah, uh, only four people got it wrong. A'udhu is not we seek refuge, it is I seek refuge. Okay, a, a is I. A'udhu, I seek refuge. In fact, I kind of emphasize on a and I. So, it is I seek refuge, not we seek refuge. Okay, what is ar rajim Read the answers and then I will launch the poll. I hope you read the answers. So let us go quickly and pick the answers fast. Three, two, one. MashaAllah, almost all of you got it right, which is a regime is outcast, and I told you to remember the context. A shaitani regime, Satan, the outcast. Shaitan is not close to Allah; is thrown away. Outcast is thrown away. Okay, and uh, let us see what is the meaning of min. Is it two on? So audhu billahi min a shaitani regime. I seek refuge in Allah. Dash shaitani regime. What is that? Oh, I'm glad to say that this time, mashallah, we have 100% results. I showed you right now. I'm glad that you are following. Before that, it was not 100%. Okay, min is from. And this is 2,471 times. So, okay, to avoid whispering of shaitan, we have to A, B, C, D. Now, this is multiple choice. Okay, so pick as many as are relevant. All right, three, two, one. I'm, I'm ending the poll. So, mashallah, actually, all of these are correct, which is listen, understand what you recite, feel what you recite, visualize what you recite, and listen to what you recite, meaning without disturbing anyone. That is, but don't recite it so loud that the, uh, the, the person standing next to you is disturbed. That's what I mean by listen to what you recite without disturbing anyone. All right. So who is our worst enemy? I think I don't have to say that. Shaitan, of course. So with that, uh, Alhamdulillah, we finished 1A and I'm trying to go fast. So it is 8 o'clock. And now we will go to 1B. So as I told you, now if you want to revise this or if you were to watch this uh, on the video, uh, like as I said as a revision tomorrow spend some time listening to watching that video 1a uh, that's not a big task really you know and the main, the crux of this lesson is the meaning and some brief explanation that's all and uh, if you go to the lesson I will let me share with you the lesson uh, let me just go there one second Sometimes, uh, you know, this is our first class, so it's giving me some surprises. It never happened, but in Alilahi, in Alilahi Rajaun, no problem. That's fine. Uh, I don't see my video, but inshallah, next time we will. 
So here is the lesson and it is only two pages. And so if you want to see the lesson, this is like this. So lesson 1A, objectives of the course and uh, unique approach of the course. Quran is easy to understand, unique approach of this course. We can improve our Salah. So I told you about Khushu. And if you go down, then we have Ta'abus. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. And for every dhikr, I have almost only half a page of explanation. Okay, this is it. Okay. Uh, and it will help you, inshallah, in uh, trying to improve the khushu, as well as remembering the vocabulary and bringing or you know, taking Quran into our lives. So this is the lesson. So the crux of the main part of the lesson is only this much. That's all. This is one age. How simple it is. In fact, all of you can teach this course and we would strongly encourage you to become teachers very soon, inshallah, and you will. Uh, you will become teachers, I hope. And this is what I'm propagating everywhere. Uh, wherever I go, I say, you got to be teachers. And we have, alhamdulillah, without exaggeration, thousands of teachers of this course. Uh, the course itself is in... Uh, uh, more than 2,000 schools so there itself you can see that there are so many teachers okay so now we will take the second part of lesson one okay as I said each lesson has two parts 1a 1b 2a 2b 3a 3b first part we will talk about salah or Quran and the second part the grammar the grammar in this lesson we learn he, they, you, I, you, all, are we, and we. So six words. You know, I am not scaring you with any of these terminologies. It's not about terminologies. It's about uh, the words. Focus on the words only. Um, don't worry about terminology at this time. Uh, that this is a uh, Dhamma'ir or Munfasila, Muftasila, Ghaib, Muzakkar, Jama, and so on. So we know grammar, but I, I would say learn grammar after you understand the Quran uh, or complete the course of understanding the Quran. Uh, so here we have uh, just one minute. Okay, so we use total physical interaction. Okay, we use total physical interaction. What is total physical interaction? It makes life very easy and I can assure you that with this system, inshallah, you will learn different Arabic forms easily. So what is total physical interaction? Hear it, see it, think it, say it, show it, love it and do it together. Okay. And, and I don't want to miss today's session. And this is indeed very, very disappointing to see uh, that my video is not coming. So what I will do, Alhamdulillah, we have alternative. If uh, Shaitan is active, Allah has given us other options also. So I will show you part of this here. And uh, I will let you watch for only five minutes. So we use everything, eyes, brain, or whatever. Do you hear the computer sound or not? Can't see. Ustad, we can't hear your system audio. We can hear you, but we can't hear the audio from the video. Okay, great. Let me just. Check. We can see it, but we can't hear it. Okay, one second. Uh, it says share computer sound, stereo high fidelity. No action. So hear it. Okay, take your hand to your ears, or your right hand to your ears and right ear, and say hear it. And can you hear it now? Yes. Now. Yes. Working. Now it's working. Okay, great. Then so let see me just uh, do it. Again. Okay. 
and then think it hear it see it think it this is kind of one unit hear it see it think it and then say it okay and show it show it and love it okay do it with love not with you know laziness or you know in a boring way no love it and do it together with your friends and we always encourage you to sit with your friends neighbors you know and do this in class or at least have one friend of course you can learn it yourself but the best thing is to learn in a group in other words again can you repeat with actions please hear it see it think it so all of, I, I request all of you to do just like the students are doing or just like i'm doing it's very very important Say it, show it, love it, do it together. Once again, hear it, see it, think it, say it, show it, love it, do it together. So we are doing in three parts. Again, hear it, see it, think it, say it, show it, love it, do it together. Okay, can you teach your friend? I live. By the way, whenever I say, can you teach your friend, Alim, if you are at home and watch this TV, you can do it with your family also or with friends. You know, you can uh, do this course using this video also, even though I would prefer that you learn this course and teach it yourself. Don't rely on video, but in the beginning you can. So now you know what is TPI. So now uh, I would say in t we can we can learn these uh, thirty words which occur in the Quran thirteen thousand times, and this is using TPI. So within this course, within this course, so it is very 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 important that you follow the system. So what you are going to do is uh, very simple. So please hear another five minutes because. Um, it will help you, inshallah, do it properly. So let me just start uh, the right one. That's all. So let us take six words. Okay, don't feel shy. Still, you know, because we have been learning the lectures throughout our life with folded hands. Uh, people so feel sometimes uneasy but just it is and you don't have to stretch your hand don't have to poke your neighbor if you're sitting in a group just you know show it like this close to your hand and don't stretch this part just keep this part close to your body and then just move your hands like this okay so repeat after me we will learn we are learning six words which occur in the quran 1295 times and inshallah within six minutes we will learn it so can you repeat it the way i say it okay Huwa he show your hand use your hands use tpi Huwa he Huwa he Huwa he home they home they Anta, you, Anta, Anta you. you, Anna, I, Anna, Anna I. I, Antum, you all, Antum, Antum you, you all, all. Nahnu, we, Nahnu, Nahnu we. we. Can you do it once again? Let's do it two more times. Repeat after me. Hua, he, Hua, Hua he, Hum, they, Hum, hum they. they, Anta, you. Anna, I, Anna, I, Antum, you all, Antum, you all, Nahnu, we, Nahnu, we, once again, Hua, he, Hua, he, Hum, they, Hum, they, Anta, you, Anta, you, Anna, I, Anna, I, Antum, you all, and you are nahnu we nahnu we last subhanallah i discovered the problem in video now you can see me inshallah huwa hum anta ana antum nahnu what was happening was there was a small you know kind of shutter which i didn't realize in my this new laptop 
So I move that shutter and it is visible. All right, so you can do, um, uh, repeat after me or repeat after the video, that's all good, fine. But do this exercise like huwa, he, hum, they, anta, you, ana, I, antum, you all, nahnu, we. All right, so you can do two words at a time also. If you are scared of these six words, if you're very new to Arabic, then huwa, he, hum, they, huwa, he, hum, they, huwa, he, hum, they, huwa, he, hum, they. And then you can do anta, you, ana, I. So this is spoken Arabic, okay? You and me, okay? You and me. These two central words are very important for spoken Arabic. Anta, you, ana, I. Anta, you, ana, I. Anta, you, ana, I. And then, antum, you all, nahnu, we. Antum, you all, nahnu, we. Because uh, th th this is a you know, kind of exercise which will help you in grasping those words. So you got to repeat them so that they are internalized. If you just uh, keep folded hands and uh, say, who are he, whom they, then what happens is, uh, let me give you a, a nice example uh, from my life itself. Uh, when I was uh, learning like 40 years ago, the words, uh, Arabic words and their meanings, uh, I used to take words from Quran dictionary and memorize. So let us say, feel is elephant and kursi is chair. So I used to say, feel elephant, kursi chair, feel elephant, kursi chair, feel elephant, kursi chair, feel elephant, kursi chair. Feel elephant, kursi chair. And after, I would say, three days, feel will become chair and kursi will become elephant. Why? Because you don't learn without context, without anchor. Something has to be there to learn. So please, uh, you know, watch another uh, five minutes and inshallah, you will see how you can and do practice. Okay. It's just moving of the hands. And I explain that, you know, when you explain directions on mobile, how do you, ex how do you explain directions? Say, Go straight and turn right. And, you know, after that, goes, why are you moving the hands when you're talking on mobile? The guy is not watching you. The reason is, this is how our brain works. We are, our brains are wired. So we want to teach the brain the way the brain works. And that will be faster. In fact, I would say, I would, I would pause the video and then I will say the benefit of TPI right now. It's time. Hua he, hua he, whom they, whom they, anta you, anta you, ana I, ana I, antum you all, antum you all, nahnu we, nahnu we, masha Allah. Now can you pause and teach your neighbor? Just repeat after this, looking at the book. And this is how. Okay. Now let us take the second cycle. You translate, and I will just say the Arabic words. Hua, he, whom, they, he. with actions, please. Anta, you, you. ana, I, antum, you all, nahnu, we. we. So if a plural, I'm making a heavy sound, you. and do that so you have a different registry, different, you know, connection to say these words. Again, translate. Hua, he, whom. They. Anta, you, Anna, I, Antum, you are, Nahnu, we. Once again, Hua, he, Hum, they, Anta, you, Anna, I, Antum, you are, Nahnu, we. Last time, translate with actions. Hua, he, Hum, they, Anta, you, Anna, I, Antum, you are, Nahnu, we. MashaAllah. Now in the third cycle, you see, we have not covered even, I mean, we have not even taken two minutes yet. So let us continue. Now in the third cycle, I will say it in Arabic in pairs, like who are whom, and you have to repeat it with actions. Don't forget the actions. Okay. Who are whom? Who are Anta, Anna. And here is the benefit of TPI. You see, uh, now, I don't need translation. My action is enough as to show what I mean. I don't need translation. 
And that is the benefit of TPI. So now you can say hua hum and you already know that it is he and they. Anta ana, you already know that it is you and I. So when I say anta, I will point towards you, you will point towards me, anta. And ana, I, you will point towards yourself, ana. Okay. And antum, you will point four fingers towards me, towards the camera, and and nahnu we you will point four fingers towards yourself by the way you and me even though we are alone we are four this is a joke but it is a reality also me and my shaitan jinn and the two angels so we are four okay we are not alone anytime we are always four so we are four you are four even though you are alone anyway so uh, let us continue with the exercise just for another four or five minutes, four or five minutes, but that will, inshallah, uh, settle the meanings in your brain. Antum nahnu. Huwa hum. Huwa hum. Anta ana. Antum nahnu. Antum nahnu. Let's repeat two more times. Huwa hum. Anta, Anna, Anta, Anna, Antum, Nahnu, Nahnu. Do it in three different tones, okay? Who are whom? Anta, Anna, this is the most important for speaking. And then in a heavy voice for plurals, Antum, Nahnu. Okay, repeat after me in Arabic again, two more times. Who are whom? Who are whom? Anta, Anna, Antum, Nahnu, Nahnu, last time. Hua, whom? Anta, Anna, Antum, Nahnu, Nahnu. MashaAllah, in the last cycle, and still we may have not have taken even three minutes or four minutes, but I said six minutes, six words. So don't feel that we are doing too much. It's a very simple exercise. So now in the last cycle, can you do it with me? Okay. Bismillah, with me, slowly. Huwa hum anta ana antum nahnu. Huwa hum anta ana antum nahnu. Huwa hum anta ana antum nahnu. MashaAllah. Can you now repeat with your friend or teach your friend? Bismillah. Alim. MashaAllah, we have learned six words which occur in the Quran 1295 times. And if you have. I think I can stop the video and then I can go there and uh, go to the relevant, you know. Now we go to spoken Arabic. Every time we learn uh, the words, uh, we do some spoken Arabic practice. So let us take two words. Man means who, man means who, and you already know Muslim and the plural is Muslimun. Okay, you already know Muslim and the plural is Muslimun. So man hua, can you translate that? Man who, hua he, man hua who he, that is who is he. In Arabic, we don't put is so man who are that's enough who he that means who is he man who who are they and your answer will be who are muslim he is a muslim and man whom who are they you will say whom muslimun now spoken arabic is very important and this is only quran centric spoken arabic is very important to internalize the arabic i would say meanings all right to internalize arabic words the more you think in Arabic, the easier or the faster you will learn. That's why spoken Arabic part is important. And also, please remember to do spoken Arabic practice with actions. So I will say man huwa, and you will say huwa Muslim with action. So can you say, can you answer man huwa, huwa Muslim? Man huwa, huwa Muslim? Man huwa, who are Muslim and man whom Muslimun, man whom Muslimun, man whom Muslimun. Okay, similarly, if I say man anta, 
See, we learned anta ana, anta ana. So if I say man anta, who are you? You will say ana Muslim. I am a Muslim. Okay, ana Muslim means I am a Muslim. So let me ask you, man anta, ana Muslim. Man anta, ana Muslim. Man anta, ana Muslim. And similarly, if I ask you man antum, who are you all? You will say nahnu Muslimun. So answer me. Man antum, nahnu Muslimun. Man antum, nahnu Muslimun. Man antum, nahnu Muslimun. Okay. So now, now uh, we have learned these six words. So please. You know, learn these six words. Who are whom? Anta ana antum nahnu. I would strongly encourage to spend another five minutes. You know, after the class, uh, at least five minutes, and you know, on the and then you don't have to sit down uh, to do this exercise as you are. You know, doing another thing or walking, uh, going to the masjid, coming back or driving the car. Just say who are whom? Anta ana antum nahnu. Who are whom? Anta ana antum nahnu. In five minutes, you can repeat it a hundred times. So internalize this and also internalize the directions. So now I will uh, take some polls. Okay, let us see how you are doing. Hopefully it's easy. Plural of Hua is. So very quickly, I will launch the poll. So polls, say. Yes, please. Okay, three, two, one. All right, most of you got home. Hua, home. Hua is singular, home is plural. Okay, so the plural of Hua is home. Okay, somebody is using annotation, so please don't do that. Disable, disable annotation for others. And uh, let me erase annotations. One second. Here is clear all drawings here. Yeah. All right. So let me just uh, go to the next question. Okay. Meaning of anta. Meaning of anta. I see is that less people are participating. Please uh, participate to the maximum. We have 60 to 70% participation. Let's see, okay. All right, so I will end the poll. Three, two, one. Yeah, mashallah. Most of you got it right. Anta is you. Anta is you. I saw you in Antarctica. Anta. Maybe you remember that. All right. Man anta. What will be answer? Ana Muslim or Nahnu Muslim or Anta Muslim or Ana Muslimun? What is the right answer? Okay, three, two, one. Well, most of you got it right, and I'm Muslim, but I feel you do need practice, uh, and please do watch the video, and do practice this huwa hum anta ana antum nahnu, and inshallah you will improve. Don't give up, it's very simple. Okay, now I'll take one more question. 
who are you in plural who are you all is it man anta or man hum or ana muslim or man anto i hope you got you pick the answer so now select the answer quickly Three, two, one. Okay, and uh, the answer is Man Antum, who are you all? Okay, MashaAllah. Man Antum, now answer me in Arabic. If I say Man Antum, who are all of you? So you should say we are Muslims. So is it Ana Muslim, Nahnu Muslim, Anta Muslim, or Nahnu Muslimun? Okay, the right answer is the right answer is three, two, one. The right answer is Nahnu Muslimu. Okay, Nahnu Muslimu. We are Muslims. Okay, uh, do you know that these six words that we have learned, Huwa hum anta ana antum nahnu occur in the Quran how many times? Uh, 600, 000, 800, or 1300. What is the closest answer? Let's have it quickly. This is to emphasize or realize the value of your learning. Three, two, one. MashaAllah, most of you got it right. It is 1300 times in the Quran. So, and that shows the value of this session. Even if we are able to learn one word of the Quran, it's a huge blessing, but we are learning six words, shakal, 1300 times, that's great. Plural of ana. Ana is I. So what is we? Is it hum or nahnu, huwa or antu? Again, very quickly. So we will try to get used to this uh, polls, you know, and we will try to give you less and less time. Three, two, one. Okay, mashallah. Plural is, majority says, nahnu. Nahnu is we. Antum is you all. Okay, huwa hum. Anta ana. Antum nahnu. All right. So what is meaning of antum? Is it they or you all? He or we? I think we asked too many questions. This should be the last question. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, Antum is you all. Okay, plural is Antum is plural, you all. And Nahnu, we. Antum, Nahnu. The last two sets. All right. I think uh, then I will just go to one interesting part, which is, uh, I would say, isn't it easy? It is easy, inshallah. So now short forms of English are, you know, when you do SMS, you say, instead of saying R, A, R, E, R, U coming, you say R, letter, R, letter, U coming. But mashallah, Arabic has some built-in short forms like wa means end and fa means so. And you don't put even fatha signs for Arabs. It is only for non-Arabs. So, wahua means wa and huwa. Like billahi is be and Allah. So, wahua means and he. Wah means and they. Okay. So, can you translate just once with actions? Uh, I have to leave. Okay. No problem. Uh, all right. So, wahua. And he can you do the action please translate with actions translate with actions wahua and he wahum and they let me see myself yes wa anta 
and you. Wa'ana and I. Wa'antum and you all. Wa'nahnu and we. All right. So in the Quran, it can be coming with wa. Similarly, it can come with fa. Fa means so. Fa, fa huwa is nothing but fa plus huwa. Fa hum is nothing but fa plus hum. So don't say, oh, I don't know what is fa hum. Well, it is nothing but fa plus hum. So let us translate once with actions. Fa huwa, so he. Fa hum, so they. Fa anta, so you. Fa ana, so I. Fa antum, so you all. Fa nahnu, so we. That's the end of uh, the practice lesson. You can hear, I mean, we can watch the video and see little more details about learning tips and uh, some more things. But these are the exercises that are most important and those are the crux of the lesson. Now I will go to 2A. We have half an hour left. If you have any question, I will check in the chat box now and answer you. So please... Let me know if you have any questions. You can type them in the chat box. So I hope you have seen the system, how the system works, which is uh, uh, we have for every lesson two parts. First part will be Quran or Salah. The second part will be the grammar. And grammar will involve active exercises. And you have to involve just move hands and say it loud, even though I may not be able to hear but please do so. And now we'll go to second, you know, in uh, start of the second lesson. And this was introduction, so we were a little bit slow. Uh, for you, can you close the poll to see the answer choices again and then open it again? Well, I am, I'm showing you um, the answer choices. Uh, uh, okay. Generally, I close the poll and I show you the answer in the PowerPoint slide itself. But I will see, I will be more kind of careful about that. All right. Um, you have time, take the workbook oh, and write. So now let us go to 2A. Okay, the second lesson, part A. Okay, so go to home. Oh. In second A, I would say, I'm, I'm going straight to the part, we start Surah Al-Fatiha, which is complete Surah of the Quran. It's so important that Allah has asked us to recite it every day, in every salah, in every rakah. So here is a sample. You can see so many red words uh, that are there from Surah Al-Fatiha. And uh, which means that the words of Surah Al-Fatiha and Ta'awuz occur in every line of the Quran. One word has on the average, every line has one word from Surah Al-Fatiha and Ta'awuz. And that's how it's very, very important to memorize the meaning of every word. So let us take Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. And also most of you know it, but still I would say, let us repeat it. Bismillah. Bismi is in the name. Bismi is in the name. Bismi actually is made up of two words. Like Billahi in Allah. A'udhu Billahi. We did that before. A'udhu Billahi. I seek refuge in Allah. So bismi in the name. Ism is name. And plural is asma. I know Allah's name are called asma ul husna. Allah's best names. So ism and asma. Bismillahi ar rahman So bismillahi, that means I start my work in the name of Allah. I read, I write, I start anything in the name of Allah. Ar-Rahman, the most gracious. Actually, we don't use this word gracious in our spoken Arabic, so I don't know if it carries very much depth in our understanding. So here is a nice explanation. Uh, words of this type show intensity, like Ghadban means extremely angry, bursting with anger, or Jaw'an means extremely hungry, Atshan means extremely thirsty. So Rahman, Rahman means extremely caring and kind, intensely merciful. That's what a Rahman is. And Rahman is to care and be kind. Extremely caring and kind means a Rahman. A Rahim, 
The words of this type in Arabic show continuity. For example, Jamil, beautiful. Will you call somebody beautiful who was ugly yesterday? No. Beautiful means beautiful. So Rahim and Karim means good mannered. You know, somebody I have been watching him for the last two, ten, five years. He always was good. Then only I will call him Karim. Continuity. Okay. So Ar Rahim means continually caring and kind. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Ar Rahman. Ar Rahim. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. There is no wa there. There is no and there. That is, you multiply the intensity with continuity. So when you say Bismillah, try to remember the great attributes of Allah and then say Bismillah. Then your Bismillah will be more powerful. In the name of Allah and you have confidence that Allah is behind you, will support you in the action that you are taking. And there will be barakah and blessing in the tasks that you do. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, this teaches us that we have to be always thinking positively about Allah. Don't think negative about Allah even if you are passing through challenging times because Allah, whatever he does, is good for us. We definitely ask for ease, for solution, for health. But if we are passing through tough phase, never think bad about Allah. Never, never say, oh, why me? Oh Allah, why did you this do this to me? Because Allah is extremely caring and kind and continually caring and kind. And there is a lot of reasons behind that. Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be strong, uh, to remove our sins or to raise our grades in Jannah and so on. So with these feelings, okay, and uh, feelings of realization of his mercy and care and kindness, we can recite. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So once again, Bismillah in the name of Allah, ar-Rahman, the most gracious, the ar-Rahim, the most merciful. Now I can go and uh, ask you some questions. What is ar-Rahman? What did I say? Extremely forgiving or thirsty or merciful or hungry? Very simple question. So let me launch the polls. And let us see if I'm launching and removing properly. So now once I launch the poll, if you're watching on phones, you cannot see the answer, the screen. You have to switch the screen. But if you're watching it on uh, laptops or computers, then you can see the answer and questions and simultaneously the poll and this simultaneously. I will end the poll and I will ex explain to you again. If you're watching on the phone, then you cannot see the screen. Uh, this is unfortunate. Uh, this is how now I'm turning off the poll window. So you should be able to see the PowerPoint screen clearly. And the answer is extremely merciful. And uh, let me see. What did you say here? If there is anything here. Okay. All right. Fine. So link to order. Uh, what is that? Any physical copy available of the book? Uh, yes, it will be available. Uh, it you have to I will I will post the link in the in the you know, Moodle page. Okay. All right. Um, Rahim means what? Is it good mannered, occasionally merciful, beautiful or continually merciful? Very simple question. And uh, you have to select the answer now. So I hope you have selected the answer. Then I will launch the poll now. Yeah, good. Three, two, one. Okay, and I'm closing the poll window and you can see the answer is continually merciful. Okay, and uh, we talked about, you know, how to visualize and feel already and uh, bring this into our life. Like we can have a question, oh Allah, have mercy on me. 
and then do those actions, evaluate, do those actions which bring us closer to the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and plan accordingly. So I will skip this part. And uh, yes, uh, I would say some of the answers, uh, the habit we can learn from Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, as I said, well, let me ask you, I will launch the poll. Uh, and see. I hope you remember. You read the answer. To remember the day of judgment, A. To have positive thinking about Allah, B. To help the needy and poor, C. To have positive behavior, D. What is the most relevant answer? Okay. So polls, I will say relaunch. Yes. What is the most relevant answer? <laughs> Okay, three, two, one. Okay, most relevant answer is to have positive thinking about Allah. I will go to now next verse. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Okay, Alhamdu, Al here means all. Al here means all. Just like Assalamu Alaikum means all peace be upon you. Peace in your health and wealth, in your you know, uh, property in your children, whatever, on your family. So peace be on you, all peace be on you. So alhamdu, hamd has two meanings, praise and thanks. Alhamdulillah, lillah is made up of two words, to Allah or for Allah. All the praise and thanks be to Allah. When we say this, we can recite this with two, one of the two feelings. Either we say while praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our heart or while thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for so many things that he has blessed us with. Okay. So with those imagination and feelings, we should recite. Alhamdulillah. And uh, how to bring it into life? Well, thanking Allah means using his bounties in the right way, that is thanking Allah practically. So I can evaluate and plan and propagate, you know, ask, evaluate, plan, propagate. So I can ask, say, oh Allah, help me, thank you, the right way. And evaluate and plan. Rabbil Alami. Rabb means, Lord doesn't convey that meanings. Actually, Rabb means takes care of us, the one who takes care of us and helps us grow. You know, takes care of us, Right now, we are living like in a super intensive care unit when it comes to the rotation of the earth, which is rotating so fast and it has so much of bursting lava within it. You know, hot lava, but the earth is stable and it is rotating around the sun 20 kilometers per second. And the whole solar system is going at 200 kilometers per second in some direction. So just imagine... With all these rotations, still we are feeling so safe and comfortable and stable on this earth. And he's taking care of us. He's feeding not only three times a day, he's feeding oxygen every second. And not only as he's Rabbil Alameen of the worlds. Alam is singular, Alameen. So billions of people, trillions of insects, zillions of galaxies and angels and jinns and God knows what. So he is Lord of the worlds. So you can explode your imagination as you're praying. It's a matter of attitude, using your brain rather than you know increasing the time. I'm not saying you know you have to sit there, pray for instead of five minutes, pray for 50 minutes. No, you just spend the same time almost, just recite slowly, but you know, use your imagination. Otherwise, what will happen is if you don't use your brain, as I said, you should recite. I would say while you're reciting in Salah, recite with Tajweed, with understanding, but that is not enough. Visualization and feelings. So fill your brain channels. Brain can process five things at a time at least. For example, you're driving, you're controlling the steering, you're controlling the brakes, you're talking to the friend sitting by your side, you're watching the road, you're looking for your shop. So if you don't keep your channels busy in Salah, Shaitan will enter through those channels and destroy your Salah. So use that you know, visualization and feelings. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. 
the wow factor should be there, as you say, Rabbil Alameen. Okay, try it. I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect. We just try as much as we can. So can you translate? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdu, all praises and thanks. Remember two meanings, praises and thanks. Al means all here. Lillahi be to Allah. Rabb the Lord. al alamin of the words. So let's go quickly to the questions. Uh, what is the meaning of Alhamdu? All power, all thanks, all praise, all control. It is a multiple choice question. So I hope you have selected two answers by now. So I'm going to launch the poll, which is... Uh, Go ahead. Okay, three, two, and one. MashaAllah, most of you got it right, which is uh, which is all thanks and all praise. Let me close the window of poll. All thanks and all praise. That is the meaning of Alhamdul. Two meanings. All right. Walillahi. See, I have added the word wa. And you know lillahi. So what is the meaning of walillahi? And Allah. And Allah is great. And for Allah. And from Allah. So I hope you selected the answer. So I'm relaunching the poll. And there is only one answer. So pick the answer. It's not wallahi, it is wa lillahi. So there are three words in it. Wa li Allah. Wa li Allah. Three words. Three, two, one. And the right answer, let me close the poll window. Right answer is, and for Allah. Wa li Allah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, praise is for Allah. So, walillahi, and for Allah. All right, we saw this part, so you can watch the video. How many habits can we learn? By the way, I have taught 12 habits from Surah Al-Fatiha. All of these are there in the video. And uh, I, I want to use this time in practice. So let us see. Just ponder. How many habits can we learn from? Alhamdulillah. Alameen. Praise Allah. Think over his creations. Thank Allah. Think over his care. So how many answers are there? Multiple answers. Okay. So let me launch the poll. I hope you selected the answers. So select the answers. Three, two, one. And the poll. MashaAllah, most of you got it right, which is all answers are correct. Praise Allah, think over his creations, thank Allah, think over his care. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, we learned this already. And here we, uh, I would say, can learn one more habit, which is the Prophet وسلم, said, Whoever doesn't show mercy or is not kind and caring to others, Allah will not be kind and caring to him. Allah will not show mercy to him. So let us develop the habit of showing care and kindness to others. Everyone, as we get out of the masjid or, you know, in the family, uh, to family members, to neighbors, to Muslims, non-Muslims, to humans, to animals, to plants, everything. So let us be kind and caring. I think that's the end of uh, second lesson part A. Isn't that simple? I mean, what is there? 
so simple uh, we just learned bismillah rahman rahim alhamdulillah rabbil alamin ar rahman ar rahim so try to revise this watch the video again and uh, if possible i would say for the next class try to watch the videos beforehand you know next class we will be covering uh, more material still we have five minutes so i will leave it for questions and uh, uh, I would really request you to watch so that we can speed up. Otherwise, we will not be able to cover the whole course. I don't want to rush also. If you say no, be slow. Then we will go up to 12 lessons. And uh, we can think of another course for remaining lessons. That's fine. Uh, there's no hurry. Uh, in that case, we can uh, learn, let's say, uh, in the first 12 less lessons, we can cover easily our first 10 lessons. Uh, we can cover, I would say, more than 33% of the words of the Quran. But the thing is, enjoy the lessons, do the practice. And if you just spend 10 minutes a day, the app is there, and install the widget on your home screen, then inshallah, it will always remind you. And let me just try to show you that app where you can install the widget Widget is a very interesting thing. I learned it even recently. The, you know, on your phone home screen, there's a weather weather button. That's a widget. Okay. So let me just uh, say copy invite link. And I will share my phone home screen and tell you how to do that. Battery is running low. Crazy thing. Okay, fine. No problem. Um, so... Let me just quickly go there and try to share my phone's home screen so that I can show you how that widget is installed. Let me see. Zoom. Join. Oh, one second. Personal. Okay, uh, let's see if it comes. Recording in progress. Can't hear you. Yeah, okay. Uh, see, I had to mute it. One second, make co host. Yes. And, okay, we can hear you. Yeah, one minute, please. Start now. Can you see the screen now, phone screen, my phone screen? Yes. Yes, we can. Yeah, this is the widget I'm talking about, you know. So make sure that it is installed on your home screen. Please excuse the echo because I'm sharing both screens right here. Okay, now uh, how do you install the widget? Go to Play Store and say... Search for Quran phrases, E H R A S E S. And once you have installed, you can touch. Uh, by the way, to install it, you have to select a free space like in this one and touch the screen for uh, three seconds. You can watch my video also. And then what will happen as I touch the screen for three seconds, the screen shrinks. This is in Android. And at the bottom, you will see the widgets. So touch widget. And then you can look for that widget. I can see it here or go down and drag it to the empty space. And it is launched there. So it is on, it's launched double on my screen. I don't want to double. So I will remove this one. So I go to home screen. Now, if I touch the widget, I will see this screen. Okay. 
And here at the bottom, course wise, I can select the words and select course one. And I can select lessons one to 15. No, I would say lesson one to two. And then I say save. Then I will see only course one to two lessons. See, see, now you see Antum Nahnu. So it will always be displayed on your home screen. Uh, now in, on home screen, it is Man Antum. Who are you? See? So, inshallah, it will be very nice. It will always remind you every 10 minutes the words will change. Or you can set the different settings. You can look at it. But please install it. Um, to be extremely helpful. And the whole Quran is there for your, info, for your information. So I will just get out from here. It's doing a lot of echo. All right. So, yes, on this phone, you can, I mean, 